Welcome back here. Today we will be discussing linear gaps. Whatever that is. What's a linear gap? So, kind of like this. We're in Australia somewhere. And the idea behind it is... I don't quite know how to explain it, but it's as if something moved on a path through <clears throat> often seen on on the coast as if something moved on a just kind of sheared through the land right there it's not it's not like us this one's not like a straight line it's more of like a, a wedge I don't really know how to explain it so I'm not even gonna try and I've just searched the word gap and we're gonna go through a bunch of stuff. This one. Could be modern. Uh, it's submerged. Mm. It might even just be natural. Uh, gonna see a rectangular thing carved out of the ocean floor there. And over here you see another one, like a, a linear gap that, although that could definitely be modern, just modern activity. Again, you see it here, linear gap with a rectangular thing carved out. Hmm. I think we're in Hawaii here, yeah, somewhere, one of the Hawaiian islands. You see a lot of this kind of angled out ocean floor, which is pretty interesting. That's not really the topic of this video, just pointing that out. And then these so-called fish ponds, which is like eroding old walls or something which are fish ponds or have been repurposed as fish ponds like this probably is one and then there's one right here but there's so there's like multiple layers of them that i don't know if there were originally fish ponds i feel like there's something else but i'm getting off topic here it's my angled ocean there here's an interesting one where is this South America somewhere, Central America. And you just kind of see there's the rock here and here. And then there's a kind of gap there, although this is blocking it. As if something moved through and pushed this rock over here. I don't know. Kinda, kinda, here. This is Central America also, Mexico. Uh, you know, you have the coast here, and then in some places it's, there's a, a break in the rock. Yeah, this one doesn't look very clean or suspicious, but in some places it looks cleaner. I guess here I'm just wondering whether it went through this way. Because you see the rock here and then nothing here. Here's an interesting one. Uh, somewhere in California, I think. So it's, this is kind of the, the the gap, the linear path I'm, I'm talking about. So there's the rock on either side and then it's as if something moved through and, and took the rock out. And you can see kind of a continuation of the same line. Kind of just a, a faint indentation or what have you. 
could just be a geological feature. And we have more of the same down the road over here. Kind of a, what looks like possibly a path of some type of technological device or, I don't know. Two directions here. Has it moved along the coast and did its thing? Now we are in Australia, I believe. And this is a pretty interesting one. So you have this rock here, you have the, the rock here, and then there's pretty clean bare area here. Um, and it also happens to look pretty crisscrossed, you know, almost as if it was cut. And rock, of course, rock has material properties where it will kind of shear linearly in a in a particular direction, depending on the the structure of the um, the rock or the the chemical makeup, the the uh, material properties. It'll break in certain ways, sometimes pretty cleanly. Um, so that could be what we're seeing. It also looks like something just kind of came and crisscrossed it with some type of cutting device. Let's see it more here. Anyways, what I wanted to point out was uh, this gap here. This is a much wider one, but again, it's as if something is, is doing the coast and then sweeping from one area to the next, or maneuvering from one area to the next, and cutting out or removing material along its path. Um, you can almost actually even see kind of something similar there, maybe not. And then here's another example. You have the rock here, and it could just be that the rock extends underneath, under the sand here. We're only getting a 2D view of this, so it's not giving a necessarily a comprehensive view of what's going on, but uh, there's like the rock and then no rock here, so I just wondering why not. Nearby in Australia, um, so you have the, the mainland here and then this little nub, which is an extension of it. And then again, this kind of like a bare spot, or let's see if we can go a little more 3D. Yeah, not looking too good, but it's like kind of like something came through here in this, this path here and removed material almost. It kind of looks that way. And again, there might be a perfectly natural explanation. I don't know. Just down the way a bit and more of the, the mainland and then some rock here and then possible not very clean looking so you can't really say too definitively but looks like something may have moved through here here and these uh, these kind of ridges that could just be the natural geological uh, pattern and then this could be just that kind of linear direction of the rock eroding and it just erodes in this way for whatever reason if that makes sense I don't know if it did <clears throat> here's a good example in Australia still so it's as if there's a more or less linear path here which has since eroded of course and 
possibly just natural erosion or poss I don't know the the crisscrossing lines. It's I'm sure it's just looks pretty natural, but this this is kind of the the linear gap I'm talking about. Here we are again in Australia. This is kind of more of a wedgy shape, wedge. Got this, these areas of coast, and then this kind of gap here. Okay, well, my camera cut out, but I guess I don't need it. Hmm. Okay, this is kind of interesting. Australia again. And pointing out here, got the mainland with the rock. And there's this bridge here. Nice aerial view here. And so there's the mainland here. And then this extension of the rock over here. And then this gap here as if something barreled through and removed the material somehow maybe it just naturally eroded that way somehow I don't know why but it looks to my eye like something moved through here just straight across maybe even here too not right here, this way, possibly, and you can almost see a faint, oh, here we go, a, a linear, a continuous, there we go, if you look closely, you can see what I mean, see how it kind of breaks up what's going on over here, and over here, there's a, uh, this line interrupts it, if you see what I'm looking at. Through here, and then it's not super consistent. Like it looks kind of thin there, and then it's like wide here. So I don't know what I don't really know what's going on. Okay. Mm, not a great example. This is an island off of Australia. And mm, could be completely natural, but could also be part of the same pattern we were, we're looking at today. Hmm, where is this? Australia. So, this protrusion of rock just kind of like starts and stops. Could be totally natural. Wondering if that's like something crossed through there. And you've got pretty straight grooves there could just be the natural geological layering or whatever maybe a path through there maybe not just down the way a bit it's possible you see a pretty straight edge to this land here Maybe one pass this way and this way, possibly. I don't really know. Again in Australia. And I'm wondering if. This is like cut or removed. 
like a path of the something. Maybe possibly here as well, like that. Possibly, maybe. And this is here and so it looks like there's kind of a possible linear path here more or less linear not that it didn't change directions um, this almost looks like a linear path that like just like stops right there. Although it's it's tough to tell. It's just a just a render, so you can't really see what's going on. And maybe another path right there. Down the way a bit. This island here. Um, wondering if this little channel or gap here was created by something artificial or deliberate. Another similar thing here. Wondering if that's a gap or a, the, the path of something. This one's not great because it could. Could be anything. Mm, it's tough to say on these. I mean, I'm, I'm just speculating on whether something moved through here. Like, but there could be other explanations for why. This appears to stop here. It might continue under the sand and just don't see it. Same thing there. Okay. Mm. Wondering, oh, that's not a good example. As if it tools through here along the coast, is what I'm wondering. Comes along through here. That's mm, like through there, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Could be, although I don't know why something would do this. Like, um, well actually it almost looks like sweeps through here and then comes out this way, straight through the, the rock. And you can see it's kind of flat here, as if this is all one, one path. So maybe. Ooh, I like this one. Australia again. Okay. So. Got the coast, just for reference. And also worth noting these little jagged things here. Jagged looking. And this, whatever this is, this feature with this rock on either side and kind of broken up looking, looks like something barreled through here. Almost as if a, a big boulder tumbled down into the water off the land or something 
drove through here. Let's measure this to you. Three hundred seventy feet across, or one hundred twelve meters across. So this is like a football field across. So that's pretty large, and it's just a the path of something, something that happened at some point. Maybe <laughs> does that help? Don't think it does, but. I really don't know what I'm looking at, so that's all I can really give you. Alrighty. Okay, these are some interesting ones. We're in North America. What state is this? Wyoming? Along some lake? Shoshone Lake, and I just find it interesting that there are these pretty continuous or regular uh, gaps in the trees, and it's tough to say whether the trees came first and then a gap was, or a path was cut through, or whether the there was a, a kind of the streaks were there and then the trees grew according to those streaks if you see what I mean this isn't necessarily the same type of pattern the linear gap pattern necessarily that I've been showing but you see more of it here and along the, the coast of this lake here it's like I mean, this could be modern uh, landscaping, just planting it to make it more aesthetic or whatever. But you see the, uh, there's this gap in the tree line here, and then the trees grow in a very, it's like a, a strip of trees, and I just wonder why it's not growing over here, like all messy, like over here, why there's such a neat, why there's such a neat strip of trees here. Maybe this other area was logged out. It could be, and for whatever reason they left these trees there. Don't know how to explain that. Here we see kind of a gap there. No, well, could be natural. And again, this coastal line of tr tree line. It's a little weird. This is Shoshone Lake again. Hmm. There's a more linear gap. And could just be logging. They decided to, someone decided to cut some trees down and just traced a linear path doing so. It's possible. This whole area looks cleared out or something. And then almost you see a, a faint gap there too. So I'm not sure what did that. Where are we? We are in the Black Sea. Awesome. Okay, so here I'm pointing out this gap here, I think. It's like the there's a sweep here. And then you can also see it's annoying when you have to look at these. Kind of straight cut there, there as well, and as if it's an extension of this maneuver, possibly. Okay.
maybe even this right here, although you could see it. it takes more of a wacky organic pattern, so this could just, I, I mean, I don't know. And these little ticks across, so it looks like something moved across this. Here, let's measure this real quick. About 20 feet across. Seven meters across. There's another one kind of right there. Um, here, here. Well, again, that could all be natural water just running to and fro. Okay. This whole area of the wherever wherever we are. Caucasus escarpment. Um got these crisscross crisscrossing gaps in tree or er, er, in the the kind of marshy water bush or these trees or whatever. Um, is it that the trees just don't grow in this area for whatever reason? And they like they grow around it and don't grow well here for some reason? Or is it that they were, there were already trees there and then something cut through them? Like here's a, a line of trees or like a, a, a path of trees it's like you see paths of trees, and then you see paths through trees. So like something cut through there. There. Mm. Linear thing. Not clear what kind of, It could be just like a fisherman just exploring the area, you know what I mean, in their boats. Kind of, kind of a linear path there. Kind of a linear stretch of river, more or less. Mm. Yeah, and you see these kind of rays of whatever, whatever. Yeah, I have a hard time explaining this. Okay, so here, I think, either Mongolia or, or Russia. I think this is Russia. So you have these, these kind of lines of trees, or streaks of trees, and it could just be they just grow that way naturally according to the landscape. So you kind of you know, these flowy streaks of trees. And it's not clear whether something cut through to, like you see kind of like a faint gap between here. Or whether they just grow that way naturally for some reason. Or whether, I mean, it's just modern logging and the trace a particular path and this is just the the trees regrowing so they're like these these faint paths like right here okay This is whatever this is, wherever we are. I think this is China or something. Um, so it's as if something swept along the coast here, and then here we have this path or gap, whatever you call it, want to call it. See, faint gap or path. Um, here it could be totally natural. Keeps going. Of 
clean lines, strip of land. So this this clean or kind of clean tree line or strip of trees on the edge there, kind of a linear linear gap there. And this path here maybe. Of course this old grid pattern that you see everywhere. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. Hmm, okay. Mm, this might be modern island off of Florida. Could just be like a a boat, you know, where they launch their boat or whatever. So you kind of a rectangular thing there. Um, I mean, who knows, although it would be quite a lot of work to remove all that material. And again, kind of the wedgy, wedgy gap, almost as if it just sliced through that way and then this drifted away. I don't know. Could be. Um, this one maybe... Where are we? Somewhere. Hmm. It's as if there's something passed through this way, and then it almost looks like there's another one going across here. Kind of a gap there, maybe there. Maybe even here. There's an island off of, I don't know, wherever. And could be totally natural, or it could be the path of something that moved through here. You kind of see these weird angles there, not sure what that is. There's another one, same island. Again, could just be the natural eroding geological pattern. Kind of faint line there, could be the same deal. Faint line there. Or like right here. Okay, these islands in the, I don't know, near the, near the Philippines or something. We've got this, obviously this linear thing here, gap here. And then we've got, I've already showed this, this like, this whole area of islands is like all patchy and weird. Hmm, what am I looking Oh, like the underwater patchiness could be from fishing. <clears throat> There's more straight linear gaps in whatever bush or, I mean, I guess, land or little island. And it's, it's like this whole area here has that pattern. Cool, cool, cool. And same, same area, same 
Eins. Same area. Hmm. Kind of interesting. Where is this? This is here. And it's as if there's something doing this in this direction like this. And then almost like an angular. See so, oh, um, it's tough to say whether it's just rendering or whatever. But it almost looks like a really clean clean line this way that ends abruptly there. Hmm. Maybe something went through here and out, out this way. I don't know. So here we are off of Africa. Going into this gap here. The rock here, the rock here, and then a pretty sizable gap there. It could be like some kind of a water, wanting to join water thing, or like, <laughs> that sounds retarded. So, um, but like the, the water comes in here and it wants to seep out this way or something, like a natural type of deal. Okay, this little island off of Africa. And wondering if something chopped right through it. Hmm. This island off of Africa here. I'm wondering if something mm, that's not a great example, but maybe something might move through this way. And I don't know, maybe this way too. Hmm. No, that might be a road. And we are on land now in Africa. Mm. This almost just looks like sand flows or river flows. This is kind of linear gap here. It's not, not a great example. Hmm, maybe, kind of not really. That's pretty interesting. Linear gap there. Where are we? Although, again, that could just be extruded natural bedrock, which has this kind of striated pattern and then erodes in that striated pattern. I think we're in, no, I have no idea where we are, Spain or something. Okay. This is 
in Spain again. Decent example. Looks like something may have moved through there. Okay. Caspian Sea. It's kind of a, a linear path there. And should be looked at in context. Could just be the way the rock, the, the bedrock or the natural rock layers are configured. You can see that the natural rock ridges look looks like they extend into the water. So that could be a lot of what we're seeing. Like here. Pretty interesting. Yeah, those little walls are interesting as well. Huh. Mm -hmm. Okey doke. In these islands here. Kind of a gap there, maybe. Looks like something came through here. Could be modern tractor or something. This is wherever this is. Hmm. Um, this, whatever this linear gap is, is part of whatever this whole pattern is, which I don't really know. Hmm. It's like a overgrown remains or like as if there was an old city there and it got like cut clean flat like at the f like and just the footprint is left kind of looks like that or I don't know these lines of trees, which are probably farming, I would guess. Hmm. And again, since we see all these, like this line here and all these weird lines, it makes me wonder if you know, you've got this river here with that straight stretch of river, which could be a recent, like, modern edit. You know, we build channels, it's something we do. But it makes me wonder if, like, the whole river system is also part of that, uh, part of whatever all this is. Okay, let's move on. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Mm, maybe, maybe not. Hmm. Can almost see a gap there, maybe. All right. 
That one's pretty cool. Like something chopped through here. Buzzed through. Drove through. <clears throat> Where's this? This looks like it might be a man-made like Laguna de Zimpango. I think it's near Mexico City. And, uh, but you've got these, the old, kind of overgrown or eroding remains of something. Not sure what. It's some kind of a remain of like a kind of a little gap there. And very weird. Hmm. It's a line, just a line of something, and then a gap here kind of ends abruptly for whatever reason. Uh, it's kind of like a, a linear path. Tough to say, and then it's all wavy here, so this looks like old terracing that was flooded. It could be what this is. And then this might be modern, maybe not. And if this is old, then it makes me wonder if all of this is old as well. This this river channel thing, which is pretty long, obviously. Goes over here. Anyways, let's keep going. Um, along a river right here. If something did shape the coasts and much of the landscape, it may have done the rivers as well, or some of them, or like a cleanup job on existing rivers, or an edit job. So it's tough to see with these clouds, but there's kind of like a nice, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uniform, like a uniform gap there. Looks like something passed through. And you gotta look at it in context because there's these little river islands that are part of the landscape, so. It could just be by statistical chance that one of them appears, one of these little islands appears closer to the edge and it gives the appearance of some kind of gap. No, I'm saying... Bruh. Old Gridish something. Uh, the island after Madagascar, and I mean, just looking at this, if this is an accurate portrayal of the ocean floor, what is this? Something barreled right through there. Buzzed. And then here I'm just showing this gap here, the mainland, and then the outcrop or the extension of rock and then whoop, nothing right there. Okay, this is in my neck of the woods, Dana Point, Orange County, California, United States. And okay, so multiple things going on here. As if there's a, okay, this is pretty cool. So you see this, it's kind of subtle. See this kind of path here, a gap, a proverbial gap almost. And then it keeps going, keeps going through here. And the path it traces kind of goes abruptly to here. Oh, but then what do we have? We have these, we have these holes in the rock, and I, 
I think I'm maybe I'll try to put some photos in here. But we have like three or four holes in the rock here. And I'm wondering if something traced this path. Sorry, it's kind of hard to see with these place marks in the way. So it's as if something traced this path, and then there's these holes here, and then it went right through. And there's this gap here, which maybe something went through here as well. And kind of here too, maybe. Maybe here as well. And again, it's tough to, tough to say what's natural rock, the way just stuff just naturally forms, and what's something else. That almost, nah, maybe. Okay, let's turn these back on. This is a place I might actually take a field trip to because there's some, it's close by and there's interesting stuff here. Okay, so there's the, the house and the rock and this uh, kind of gap here, really hard to say with the render, like what, what's actually going on, but I mean the rock could have just naturally broken away like that. It's plausible. Let's keep moving. Let's take a look here, actually. Some linear streaks, again, could just be the way the rock is. Down the way a bit, kind of a gap there. And it continues here, almost looks like. And I'm wondering if these are like old remains of walls here. I see multiple things like this. You know, when was this built? Is this something that was built when this area was first settled in like the early 1900s and then, or something like that? And then this was built then and it's since eroded. That could be, or it could be older as well. All right. So here's another possible old structure. Although it could just be the homeowner's thing the jig. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. We've got streaks kind of going this way. And then kind of gap there. Gap here. Gap. And this looks like one one gap here that extends. And then another one here that is like goes through there and through there. Uh, so there's this, or this. And again, I'm kind of thinking like a multi-headed stylus, if that makes sense, or like, like a paintbrush. Like a big old, <laughs> like maybe here and there and there and there. It's a little out there. I know it's a little out there. Maybe here too. Maybe not. Okay, so Roger at Mud Fossil University YouTube channel pointed this one out. It's near the the shot structure, which you've probably seen in Mauritania. And there's this very linear channel. Almost looks like part of it there, although it curves around. You kind of see a faint continuation there. Curving, actually. So, whatever. And then... And then it gets more organic looking. So that's pretty odd. OK, 
Okay, and there's actually a lot of stuff in this area of a similar look. What is this? Hmm. Almost like right here too, almost as if something just traveled through here. See what I mean? Like uh, this gap here. It's, looks like something. And again, is it is it cosmetic, like only surface level, or is is it like a three D operation in some sophisticated way? And almost looks like a similar similar gap there, short little short one. And I'll show you a couple more other things here. So here's like a long wide gash that almost ends angularly. Almost, I mean it's, it's kind of messy and natural looking, but it's like a, a gash there. And. Uh, Let's see. So kind of these paths through the rock, or just natural variation in the height of the rock, according to the geology. Um, So these straight grooves, not clear what caused those. And you see this right here, that's kind of like a strange discontinuous gash or gap there in the rock, looks like it. Just like something crisscrossed across everything. See all these lines here. Won't dwell on that too much for now. And I already showed this in my first video. Near the shot structure, this might just be a natural ravine, but it looks kind of linear. So, and then of course, there's, that's interesting. Kind of a flowy, flowy streaks of rock. Pretty cool. Uh, there's these straightish ravines, which are like, hmm, where's a good one? Here's a straight one, like right there. Gap, straight, straight kind of gap. And then like this one I kind of already showed. It's like a straight cut across almost. Okay. Now, uh, I don't know if I want to show this. So like I'm just this the kind of straight edge of the rock there. I don't know. That's not very cool. Okay, this is somewhere near Italy. I think I am just pointing out this faint path here that kind of continues along. Maybe here as well. That maybe not. Man, this video is getting long. <laughs> I'm sorry, but there's a lot. There's so much to cover. I mean, the earth is huge. So this, I mean, you have to view it in, in context of the the landscape, which is very streaky and patchy. Not quite sure why. So these these line these gaps, which I'm pointing out, may just be extensions of the landscape. 
or it may just or it may be that the landscape is created by the same thing which created these like gaps so something just like shaved over the whole landscape maybe maybe let's kind of see something here this path this path of course same area see kind of a, a linear edge to this uh, aquatic plant thing and area similar thing hmm Looks something maybe pass through here This one is on the coast of Pakistan. And again, it needs to be viewed in context of the way the natural rock is going. So you have this kind of linear ridges of rock, which is probably natural. Uh, Except this looks pretty weird here. It's like see how abrupt that is. It's the abruptness that gets me. This is this is I mean this is a sizable cliffside. You see houses here, so it's probably like 30, 40 feet high. But it just kind of ends abruptly here. And then there's this kind of wide gap through it. Similar thing here, and then almost like these little bites are, are chunked out, chunked out of the, or gouged out of the coast, maybe. Ancient aliens, time traveling platypi, <clears throat> I don't know. I do not know. This looks like some kind of track of some kind, doesn't it? Doesn't that look like a track almost? This is a river uh, near the Black Sea. Just pointing out this linear channel here, or offshoot of the river. Could be modern work, just recent man-made stuff to make transportation easier. That's a possibility. Scrolling around here, giving you a look at the area. It's kind of a faint one there. Cool, man. Sorry, I get I get a little uh, um, loopy when I do this for longer than like 15 minutes. What is this? Okay, kind of cool. This is Australia. Hmm. So let's look at this and let's look at it in context. We have this kind of path here, which could be an old riverbed, of course. Probably is. I mean, there's a river. Almost like, hmm. Like something here as well. Here. Hmm. 
these interesting, pretty cool branching patterns. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I think that's all the gaps, man. Okay, now I'm going to search the word toolpath because we will see similar things. And all right, let's continue. Yay. I spent a lot of time on Australia for some reason. Here, I, I'm just noting this kind of faint linear path here, or like this what kind of wide gap here. And you can almost see like faint tick marks up here. That could of course also just be the, the natural rock. Rocks being rocks. Perhaps, I believe. Hmm. So here, wherever we are, we have these uh, South America somewhere. We have these, these streaks, which we'll see all over. Uh, I think my next episode will be on streaks. Just covering these streaks specifically and some nuances. And then obviously there's people right here doing whatever, so this all these linear paths could just be recent modern activity. Uh, although well, I guess it's kind of like the old grid looking pattern. Yeah. Whatever that is. And of course you see tire, looks like recent tire tracks as well. So that could even be responsible for most of this or all of this. Although these weird wavy lines. Okay, let's stay on topic. Linear gaps. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we're in South America again. No, Australia. What was I saying? Here we kind of see an abrupt linear end with what looks like a gap there to this tree line. So it's almost as if something cut through here. It's kind of linear. Or Tick marky kind of grooves there. And of course, that's kind of the way this whole river system looks. I would I would say this is what I'm calling a, a cartoonish river. I question the authenticity of this river. If it's really being itself or if it's fronting and trying to be cool, like I do all the time. See, this is weird to me. The, the, the thin strip of trees just like only right at the coast. Could just be a particular species of tree which needs very particular conditions to grow. But, and you do see some randomness here, but see, I'm saying a lot of these streaks might not be, um, whatchamacallit, what's, what's the word for like old river loops? It's like where the river used to, used to go. Can't think of the word, but I'm saying it might not be that, but it might be, these might be like some type of tool, tooling maneuver or landscaping maneuver, if that makes sense. 
and then the maneuver only went up to this line here. Hmm. There's a linear thing there. Why did I come over here? Of course, the streaks along the coast. Go for those in the next episode. Came over here for this. Hmm. Not a super strong example, but maybe this is a tool path like you see here. Went through this way. Although it just looks like a lot of the other streaks and river loops, so called river loops. Or I'm crazy and miscategorizing everything. See this through the river here? That kind of looks like a. Hmm, well, I don't know. Almost looks like a, something traveled through here to create that. Let's move on. Okay, so this is near Indonesia. So I think I'm asking if there's a long tool path of, that goes along the coast here. So let's check it out. All right. So, kind of a gap there, if you see what I mean. And then trees here, but nothing here. Uh, maybe goes along this way out here. Travels through here. Hmm. So it looks like, hmm. Some kind of path here, some kind that goes across the river way. Uh, along the coast here, and then continues here. If you see what I mean? So let's zoom in and follow it. It's just, I mean, the way the beach looks. It's just regular beach. Kind of. Hmm. It'd be like an old riverbed, like an old branch of the river that just happens to be along the coast. Also, leave a comment if my videos are kind of like unwatchable because I'm like moving everything around. I don't know if that's the case. Hmm. <laughs> This almost looks similar. Like there's kind of a, see the, the edge here, and the edge there, edge of the path, some kind of path traced by something. Just kind of scrolling around looking for the same thing. Maybe a faint gap there, maybe not. Maybe here. Let's move on. Looking at this here, and we are in an island near Africa. I'm going to show this one later. So we've got a 
untie these. Kind of looks like some kind of path here. Gap. Possible. And then here. Kind of a gap there and then. Let's follow this through actually. So there's this thing that looks like some kind of path here. Must have been pretty significant to cut that much of a to cut that much of a that wide of a path through through rock or cliff side. So let's follow it to see how it you can see kind of tire tracks that it's could be a modern modern road now. But then you see hmm, Maybe a faint gap there. Looks like it might continue here. See what I mean? Continues, continues through here. See how it's kind of linear on the edges of this path continues and then the road joins up with it only over here so it kind of looks like it's it's possible what's going on over here all right well let's move on So here we are at River de la something. Here. And let's break it down. So this looks like, see this faint path here, here, and then maybe here. Ah, I'm not. I don't feel too confident about this because rivers do bend around obstacles and that would naturally form a multiple paths. So I don't know about that. This is pretty interesting. Uh, Southern California. Got this little cove area here, and almost looks like the remains of an old wall, but I'm just pointing out like this path here, maybe, possible path. Like it, something went that way, and then create, actually carved out this thing here, maybe. Hmm. Maybe over there as well. Maybe there too. Alright. Okay, I think that's everything I want to show for today. Um, next episode will be on streaks. And just to give you a sneak peek, let's zoom into a random area of coast, see if we can't find the streaks. And this is the streaks I'm talking about. These. This is more, looks like it's more associated with the, with the riverway. But I'll probably focus mostly on the coast area and the, the streaks we see along the coast. So, I'll see you then. Take care. Goodbye.